Okay, so this is where we left off last time. In this one, we want to create the basic navigation for the admin dash, all right? So let's go back and for this one, what we are going to do is, all right, let's go down here. Let's create a box layout. Mm -hmm. Give this an ID of the content underscore nav. And the orientation is okay as it is. And in here, we now want to create another box layout. Like that, give this an ID of the nav underscore tabs, all right? So this is going to be the tabs we use to navigate our screen, all right? And the size hint, Ooh, mm, size hint, actually, let's just deal with the X value. So size hint X is going to be about 0.3. Let's start with that and finally copy this. Go down, paste it in here, tab this in like that. And the teal one should work for this one. Let's, let's make it darker a little like that. All right. And now create another box layout all right give this an ID of content like this size hint underscore hint X is equal to 0.7 of course and we don't need all of this so that should do it now let's go back to our nav tabs and add the toggle buttons, all right? So we can simply say toggle button, like that. Give this an ID of users, user toggle, like that. And the size hint, The size hint y, yep, let's go with the y value, is actually going to be equal to 0.2. All right. And text, we can't forget about the text. The text is going to be manage users. Manage users like that. Done deal. Copy this. All right. Paste this. And we had three there, all right? So manage users, manage products. And this is product analysis, I believe. All right, so use a toggle. Analysis toggle. Products toggle, all right? Point two, point two, point two. Let's add a label. Okay, this is going to act as spacing. ID of SP. Of SP like this. Text is going to be nothing. But the size hint Y is going to be 246 and point 0.6. Actually, point 0.4 should do. Control S to save this. And for this one, the manage users, we want the state to be by default down. All right. Like this. Control S to save and run this now. And we have that problem. Uh -huh. That is because I saw this one coming. Orientation right here. The orientation is supposed to be vertical control s to save and now let's run it all right looking good let's reduce these sizes a little 
So instead of 0 0.2, 0 0.1 should do 0 0.1, 0 0.1, so that's 3. Now this should be 7. Control S to save, run again. And now it's starting to look more like in the demo, all right? We should probably reduce this size as well. So let's go back. Instead of taking 0.3, you should take 0.2. And now you can take 0.8. Now for the colors for this background underscore color. All right. And as always, the teal color, so 0.06. Let's make this one lighter, 0 0.47, 0 0.47 in one, and the background normal, of course, background underscore normal, and the background underscore normal, as always, we want it to be empty. Copy this, paste it up here, and also up here. Control S to save this. Actually, before we even run this, I want to change that button, this one, all right? So let's go up and create a flat button. So we'll call this flat button. Flat button is going to inherit from button behavior like this, as well as a label and flat button. To initialize flat button, we are going to start with a font size underscore size. Actually, let's let's not do that. Let's start with text of default like this. Control S. Now we can go down here. Where is it? This one. Change this from a button to a flat button with that control S to save. Let's run this now. And that looks great. So we actually, before we go, let's add some spacing here. Wow, seven minutes. Where is it? Ah, right here. Spacing of mm, three should do. Control S to save this, run this. And yep, we are officially done with this one. Now, in the next one, we are going to start dealing with this section. All right, so this was too long for its own good. But anyway, questions, comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I'll check you in the next one.